Oh, we're back again. Box number four, Brothers War. Uh, this is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG, and I must say, as as many things that are bad right now with Wizards of the Coast and all the dumb crap they're doing, I am enjoying opening this product. It really does have that kind of older, nostalgic feel to it. A lot like the Dominaria packs I was opening. Uh, when we did our Dominaria opening, like that was just... Fun on several, oh, fun on several levels. Foil Mythic to start, mmm, daddy. That's a good one. Yes, sorry, dog. So that's a heck of a way to crack a box. That's a good way to get the blood pumping. So, wow. That's Merrick Orb, Mythic number two in the second pack. Along with a rare. These draft boxes, I'm not going to lie, guys. These things are really firing all cylinders. Um, it gives me high hope for the set boxes, to be fair. Um, but with that said, if you guys remember the uh, Boulder's Gate debacle, um, the actual draft boxes opened better than set boxes in Boulder's Gate, in my opinion. So, if you want to go back and look at that videos, look at those videos, you can. But that's how I remember it going down. So... Chromatic Lantern. So anyway, like I was saying, trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so just sub up while we're running through here. Wow, Foil Mythic. I mean, it's not a good one, but still, that is a Foil Mythic, or a Foil Rare to go along with those other Mythics. Um, man. So as of today, the price of these cards are really going downhill. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty much mythic or bust. Um, in general, I'm not trying to say, you know, end all be all, but I think a lot of that too is from the current negative or negativity that Wizards is getting from all these overprintings and stuff. I think these cards will go back up in value. They seem really just too good and they're really fun to play with. Um, I think once we start seeing that, it'll get a lot better. Um, but they may stay cheaper for a while longer um, if Wizards continues to very nice awake in the woods for a mythic from the set. Uh, if Wizards continue to um, spat in the place in the face of the players uh, who buy their product, it'll be very hard to get people to buy their product. Wow, mythic number two, back to back, very nice. But we'll have to wait to see how that goes. So. I do say this this box and these packs are opening way easier. Whoops, way easier than the other ones. So that's a that's a nice help. I thought I was being special there for a minute. Ooh, perilous vault mythic, very nice. Oh, there's a brainstorm, a brain <sighs> stone brain. One of the few rares holding its value at a whopping two dollars. Even Diabolical Intent has been shut down to like seven bucks or nine bucks or something like that. It's hard telling by the time this video airs how much it will really be. But yeah, the rares are really went to, to hell in a handbasket. Um, so as far as value goes, ooh, very nice. Our first gigs, I think. No, maybe not. Anyway, um, it's really going to... Um, be weird to see how it all plays out. Um, I'm kind of getting a, from the collecting standpoint, I'm kind of getting a, uh, you know, Crimson Val. That's just so sweet to pull. Kind of a Crimson Val vibe when it comes to the money value because there's just not a lot in it. Now all the special stuff may be spent, may be really cool, but we're gonna have to wait and see how that plays out as well. Um, and who knows? Maybe after these have been out for a while, a couple of these cards will actually go up value be worth something. Much like, uh, if you guys remember Wedding Invitation, um, what was the other one? Uh, you know, Wedding Invitation is going for like nine, ten bucks now. Um, Graveyard Trespasser is up to four, four or five dollars. You know, once, once some stuff rotated out and it started seeing play, it got real popular. And, you know, people started picking it up and the price went up. We may see that with Brothers War. And if, if it's selling as little as, as uh, everybody's saying it is, 
Um, the card values could go up pretty quick for just lack of ability to find whatever it is you're looking for. And supply demand, right? What are you gonna do? So, there's that. Door to nothingness. And a little over halfway through, we are not getting too many good mythics. Uh, I mean, our, our record right now is 13, including the uh, archive. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Look at that sweetness. Foil Mythic Caged Sun. Mm-mm. That's two foil mythics and a foil rare in one box. Wow. Um... That seems really good. I <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that a lot of this stuff isn't worth a lot of money. Just so many sweet pulls. Um, but maybe that's part of the whole thing where you know we have the problem with the collector boxes putting out so much of the same old same old that you know the old style flashy stuff ain't worth nothing. But I'd have to think the old style rainbow foil gotta be sexy um, I mean if it was schematic it'd probably be even better but I mean that's as close as you can get without being a, a, a schematic one to really rock the bank and you imagine getting a, I'd like to get a howling mine look like that man that'd be nice a quick silver amulet that's worth a few bucks um, one thing to remember guys is that a brain fart never mind completely forgot what I was going to say so yeah, there's that. Ugh, that's the worst rare. Well, maybe I'll think about it here in a minute. Anyway, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below. We're gonna feed a YouTube algorithm, try to get to 1,000 subscribers. So. Also, there's links in the description to the eBay store. Here's Mister. Um, Patreon, emails in there if you just want to reach out and say hey, hey, and all that other good jazz. Ooh, there's our first Sahili. Very nice. Standard art. So our record's 13 Mythics. We're staring at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, only 7. Um, yeah, lots of hot. However, we have hit some doozies. A second foil rare, wow. This is a really good box. Um, two foil rares, a foil mythic, a foil mythic um, artifact, and old border archive schematic, I don't know, what do you call that thing? This is pretty sweet, I am not gonna lie. Ooh, and there's a Mishra claimed by Gix. So there's five mythics from the set, very nice. Well, one thing is to be sure, there's a lot of, uh, looks like a little bit of some cash, cash mythics in this one. Especially a little fuller right there. Just saying. Just saying. Black Sanctuary. Alright, three packs left, guys. We're almost there. Yeah, don't need that. Hot. No, not really. Eh, nothing special in that one. I mean, really sweet. We hit another full rare mythic. That'd be insane. This is how many we've already gotten. There's the uh, token bobble. One bobble per box. Hey, Urza. Look at that little fella. Not the flip one, but you know. All right, guys, last pack. Thanks for sticking around. Come back, star. All right, so the bobbles are going for about $2 a piece, and what I've noticed, you get about one bobble a box, you get one of these foil a box, so these mythic foils like this, guys, I'm telling you, they're gonna be expensive. If you, I wouldn't sell them cheap if I was you. Um, but yeah, so like that's the theme I'm noticing. A lot of these commons, you know, you get, well, there's one or there's a bobble, right? 
it's two dollars, but you get one a box. So I, I think they're a little cheap right now. I think those are a little cheap. I think these are a little cheap, but we'll have to wait and see. Especially the foil ones; those are gonna be sexy. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do appreciate. It. Until next time, stay kind, and I'll hope to see you across from the game table later.